Okay, what you're going to need first is some nose and scar wax. Now, this is the one I'm using is by Ben Nye, and they come in various different sized tubs. And if you take a small amount, now this stuff gets quite sticky quite quickly, so you need to work quite quick. About that amount, if you roll into a ball, like that, and then start flattening it down, and keep going until you get something about that thickness. Okay, just keep flattening it out. Okay, and this is where we want it, and we want the knuckles to be exposed. So if you just place that just about there, maybe a little higher, okay, and start to flatten it down. It's quite tricky to work with. You see, you can just start to blend the edges into your skin. And you'll go all the way around. Okay, and that's what you should end up with, something looking like that. Now don't worry if it's uneven on top because most of that's going to be taken away anyway. But then what you want to do is take a blunt knife, obviously you don't want a sharp one, and just make like a little dip in there like that. And then slowly and carefully just peel some of it away to expose the knuckles. You want it to look quite sort of raggedy because it's going to be quite a nasty injury. And just keep gently pulling away. Okay, you can go as far down as you want with this. You can have like a small opening or a large one whichever you want. And you want to just push that back slightly so that you can really see inside there. Just like that. And you can continue smoothing around the fingers just so that you get a nice even so it doesn't look like there's something stuck on top if you know what I mean. And normally I would take a bit more time with this but obviously because I'm limited on how many minutes I can upload. I can only do so much. Next I'm going to use and it's um, Ben Nye's simulated bone wax. If you don't have anything like this what you can always do is use some white face paint, um, dab it in and just paint over just where the knuckles raise up slightly. And you can do the same on that one. But I'm going to use the bone wax because my knuckles aren't very prominent. So I'll just take a tiny ball and like I did with the scar wax, just flatten it out. Okay, and I'm going to place, it's probably a little bit too much there actually. Put that back. Place just over where my knuckle is. If you clench your fist, you can see where that really pops up. And then I'm just going to brush that down. I'm going to do that for that knuckle. Keep brushing until you get it evenly spread. And I'm going to do the same with the other knuckle as well. Okay, next I'm going to use um, some uh, paint. This is a Ben Nye Colour Wheel um, CK9 Severe Exposure. And I'm going to use this darker red just here, just to work your way into it, to, cause it's gone a bit dry this one. And then I'm just going to go inside, just tap in, pat in, pat in sorry, all the way in. get right in there. Then you want to just sort of go just around the bone, just 
so that you can still see where the bone is. And keep going until you've all filled in. Okay, then you want to just really lightly tap just over the um, where you've got your bone, just so that it's not pure white. Because obviously, if you were cut and bleeding, you'd have the blood would be over the top. But you, you want to make it so that you can still see some of the white, just like that. <coughs> then you want to colour this part. And turn that around just here. Just tap. So I'm going to put a couple of different colours on there. So you go all the way round. Okay, and I've gone all the way round with that one, and now I'm going to use this paler pink. And also keep going round. Right, I'm going to take a darker red and also just dab around to give it a bit of dimension because I've, you know, I've flesh and blood underneath it's not all one colour. Next I'm going to use, um, this is a blood effects gel, um, now you, you pop it in some warm water um, and it goes like liquid and then you just pop a little bit on and then literally just spread it around, being careful not to go over the bone area um, and then this eventually dries to like a, sort of like a firm gel this gives you that sort of really, um, I can't think of the word, I'll come back to you on that one. And keep going all the way in, being careful not to hit the bone. Okay, and then you also want to go onto this part here. I'll just do a little pretty much just sort of dab it on and then go all the way around. Okay and then lastly I'm just going to use this um, Ben Nice Stage Blood. I'm just going to drop a few drops just in the middle. On there, on there, just let it run down. I'm using just like a, it's just a fan brush. I'm just going to go around here. You want it to look rather messy. So you can and also, this kind of covers up if you've got, like where I haven't had enough time to really sort of blend it in. Um, that's quite a good cover for it. <laughs> you just sort of smudge it a little bit with your finger, like that as well. Makes it look really like you've been in the wars. Do a big blob here. Let that run down. I have another one over here. going around like that. Okay, so you can see where I've just sort of splattered it around then you can smudge it a little bit because if you had blood that was dripping you'd wipe it wouldn't you? And I think you'd agree that looks quite nasty, quite realistic. You can move your hand, whoops, <laughs> you can see. So. so there we go, well, that's my first special effects tutorial and I will be doing lots more. Um, so bear with me, I've never had any proper training or anything, this, this is just something I do in my spare time, um, so I'm still sort of learning, um, but I hope you enjoyed it, okay, thanks for watching, bye.